Hello guys, how you doing? It's Lee here, uh, once again from the Free Hammers. Um, I hope you're doing well, uh, and are still pleased with our win on Sunday against Bournemouth. Great to finally uh, get the season uh, kick-started with a win after that Chelsea loss. Um, but moving on from that very quickly, uh, we, uh, this Thursday of course, come up against Astra in the second leg of our Europa League qualifying playoff game. Um, and the game is finally poised at one all from the first leg, winner of the tie, um, of course, goes through to the group stages, which, as I said in the first video, was our aim, uh, really from day one to the minimal, was to get into those group stages, so with a victory on Thursday night, we will be there, which will obviously be great. So the game is at quarter to eight, 19.45, 7.45, however you like to say it, um, and it's uh, once again at our new home, the Olympic Stadium, Sudan, Stand Up, all that stuff, um, uh, which is going on at the moment. Uh, so at the Olympic slash London Stadium, of course, and looking at the uh, ticket website, it's, uh, when I film this, it's close to a sellout and probably will be sold out by the time the match comes. So, uh, so that's good. Plan the front of another full house. So as I said, it's one all on the first leg. Um, we took the lead in the game through uh, Mark Noble, a penalty after a handball. Um, Mr. Reliable Mark Noble, of course, slotted it away, never in doubt. Um, and we had a great chance for 2-0 for Antonio uh, just before uh, Dennis Alibek. Uh, popped up and equalised for Astra, and sort of was a was just reward for for them really being the better side in the second half. So, um, game is uh, nicely poised at one all coming into the uh, into the second leg. So, let's uh, talk about Astra. Uh, well, actually, they lost uh, on Sunday as we were playing uh, Bournemouth. They were playing at Cluj, um, who were in the Champions League a couple of years ago. Actually, so no falls. But anyhow. Uh, Astra lost 5-1, which is uh, not the best um, warm-up for playing us, you'd have to say. Um, their squad is so badly hit at the moment, it's really depleted, much like ours, um, but probably more with injuries and suspensions and all that. And their manager's not allowed to be on the touchline or indeed have any contact with players um, for the uh, Romanian matches, which is uh, must be quite a difficult environment to play in. Um, but as I say, they lost 5-1, um, and they currently sit 11th in uh, the Romanian Premier League, or whatever it's called, the top division in Romania. Um, so, going from being champions last season to sitting in the 11th at the moment is obviously not the best start, but obviously early days, much like the Premier League. Played a few more games than us, but not that many. Um, talking about their manager, he was non-stop in the first leg. He w did not sit down, he was barking at instructions, he was he was moaning, he was celebrating, he was right on the touchline, and it really gave them a boost, I think. Um, so he's uh, a player we've got to be careful of. He's not a player, obviously, but a player in terms of what could affect the result of the match. He obviously uh, had a good impact on their players uh, not having him there that often and for him to be there to uh, to cheer him on, it really helped him, especially in the second half. So we've got to be careful. It's, it's difficult to say to be careful of him, but he's obviously someone who can push their players um, on. Um, so, uh, yeah, so he's uh, a big factor is guess what I'm trying to say, it could be a potentially a good factor uh, for Astra as they try and uh, oh, essentially overturn the result because at one all of course nil nil will be through so they need to come at us and, uh, and get the and get a goal and a win um, the only result that can see the game go to extra time and penalties is one all so here's hoping that we don't have a late night in Stratford um, and we all, uh, we all get home come the full time whistle but um, looking at their danger man um, I've already mentioned his name actually, Dennis Alibek. Uh, played for Romania in the Euros in the summer. Um, not one of the more uh, noticeable names coming out of that tournament, it has to be said. But, but anyway, he he played there and he's getting his fitness back and he's expected to start on Thursday and he's a danger man in terms of getting goals. He really um, was he very strong. He uh, left James Collins for dead, really, for their equaliser in terms of strength and being able to turn him. And he's the danger man and someone we've got to watch and the man likely to get the goals for Astra. Um, as for us, uh, don't need me to tell you that we got that win. Uh, in fact, I already have told you. So to tell you again, of course, we got that win on Sunday, which was important. First victory of the season. It was a late goal by Antonio. Great to see him on the wing, popping up at the back post. And he just seems to score. When he plays in that position, he just seems to get a goal. So again, long way that continue. Um, slowly but surely, some of our injured players are coming back. And I'll, I'll speak about that in a second as well. Um, but the thing about uh, on Sunday especially was the result was so much more important than the performance and it wasn't a very good performance, we were quite lucky really to come away with a win and obviously then going down to 10 men helped us quite a bit 
after Harry Arter was sent off. So, but anyway, I can't complain. We got the three points, and I'm pleased with that. And it puts us in a good place going forward uh, to this match, and then of course on Sunday as well against Man City. Um, it is incredibly difficult to predict the midfield of what we're going to do. So, I'll do my best, but um, I suspect this is going to be nowhere near what Bilic does. Um, the thing that is clear, I think we'll go with the same goalkeeper and back four, so it'll be Darren Randolph, who's basically our cup keeper, so he'll, uh, for as long as we're in this tournament and fit, I guess he'll play uh, in every match. The back four, I think, will be the same as the first legs of Sam Byram, who's really looking good at the moment. I think he's a red card waiting to happen. Um, so he needs to learn a bit, I think, a couple of times after he was booked on Sunday, he sort of flew in again. He just needs to be careful with that, just to make sure he doesn't pick up a, a stupid red card. Um, so Byron right back, Obono and Oxford uh, in centre-backs, which I think could be a really good pairing. I said that before the first leg and it and it happened, so that was good. And um, and I think Reece Burke wants to get in cover for Moussaka, who's been fantastic. Um, a left back in the league, but obviously can't play in the uh, Europa League until the group stages. Fingers crossed we get there. Um, so I think Burke wants to get in cover, and he was fantastic in the first leg, actually, Reece Burke. So it'd be good to see him get another game. Uh, I'll skip the midfield for a second because that's difficult. Cagliari, I think, will play up front, who looked alright when he came on on Sunday and indeed last week in the first leg. The chance he missed wasn't good. Uh, you know, he was clean through. I think his legs sort of went a bit to jelly and he's thinking, oh my word, I'm on my league debut, massive stadium. I'm going to put this away and it went wide. It wasn't great, but he'll learn from it and uh, going forward, let's hope he has a good season. Um, the midfield. Um, anyone's guess. So the big news is that Billet said that Payet and Lanzini are potentially back for Thursday so I think Payet may start um, I don't know. I think he may start and get 60 odd minutes or he may do it in reverse. I don't think Lanzini will start they'll either, I'm not giving you many answers here but I think they'll either start on the bench both of them and then come on for 15, 10, 15, 20 minutes um but then who starts in them place? You're looking at a similar side to the one that started on Sunday. But I mean, the one change, I think Obiang will come in and I think Coyote won't play. There was talk of him having a bit of an injury. I don't know if he actually did, but he was fantastic. Such an engine and we do miss him when it's not about I don't think he'll play. Um, I think it'll be Obiang, Noble and Nordveit. Um Again, this is my prediction. I, I'm not in the know in, in the slightest, so we'll have to see what happens. Um, and then if he doesn't play Payet and Lanzini, I guess again it'll be Antonio and Tor. I can't think of anyone else that could potentially come in. Um, you could play Ashley Fletcher and play two up front, of course, is another option. You never know, Bilic does change the formation about... We've got, we played three at the back before, we played uh, two up front, played one up front, played three the wingers. So um, I guess we'll have to wait and see, um, which is a much help to know I'm watching this. But, you know, it's a good surprise, isn't it? We don't know what team's going to be put out, I guess. So on to my prediction, I think it'll be similar to the Domzali match, the second leg, which we won quite comfortably, and I think we'll win this reasonably comfortable, reasonably comfortably, again, uh, I'm going to go for a 2-0 win, um, again, early goal, uh, get it done and dusted quite early on, um, they obviously need to come at us to get the win, uh, a nil-nil draw would do us, but let's not play for that, let's go out, and I think we will. Um, I think we will go out and, uh, and look for the win and I think we'll get the win and it'll be fantastic to be in the group stages and being guaranteed another six matches in this competition which is great um, for the club and uh, our sort of uh, profile on the European stage which can only be a good thing um, so yeah that's my prediction I think we're going to win the game 2-0 which of course gives a 3-1 aggregate win and hopefully um, when I do the review of the game after on Thursday we'll be safely into the group stages, which, uh, as I say, it's fantastic news. Hope you enjoy the match if you go in. If not, I don't think it's on telly at the moment. It may, if it sells out, that may change. We'll have to wait and see. We'll uh, we'll put something out on Twitter. If indeed it is uh, said to be on telly, it'll be either BT Sport or Premier Sport, one of those two. Um, I have to wait and see. So if you go into the game, enjoy it. Stand up, sit down. Uh, either one of those things, whatever you do. Um, and I'll see you real soon.